What is going on, dudes and dudettes of the interweb? Thank you so much for clicking. I am AJ, and let's get right into this video. Happy New Year, y'all! I hope you had a wonderful start to your new year. If you didn't, well, guess what? You have 360 plus days left to flip it around. So come on out, put a smile on that face of yours. Anyways, Mass Seduction by St. Vincent has been requested. I've never heard of this artist. I am excited to add some music to my catalog. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Track number uno, Hang On Me. This was a decent intro to the album. Uh, I actually found myself uh, really digging the production, uh, much more than her vocals. They were not necessarily the cleanest, but you know, I am mad at it. And the song itself is basically about the end of a relationship, and she is trying to have one more go at it you know she's like listen i'm not gonna be hysterical anymore this time is gonna be different just give me one shot but she knows damn well the relationship is silver track number two pills pills What the fuck? Yo, the more you listen to this, the better it gets. What the fuck? It's like you have to Am I tripping? I like that. Ooh. Yo, this song. Okay, listen, this song went from hyperactive to hypoactive, okay? It's like, dang, say it. Pills everywhere, pill. I just want to know how much pill popping happened. My God, there's a lot of pills. Pills for the kids, pills for the men, pills for the women, pills for the this, pills for the that, pills for the wake, pills to sleep, pills to wake. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, don't get me wrong. I will pop a pill if I am in pain. Okay, shit, if you have never dealt with PMS, then shut up. But damn, there's a lot of pills. Shit. I'm talking about the legal ones. I'm not talking about, I don't think I'm a goddamn druggie. Anyways, this song, this song was interesting. <laughs> the first half was very, very hyper. And then the second half was like drowsy in a sense. I wonder if she did that intentionally, you know? Kind of like cocaine and heroin. Bitch, don't ask me how I know this shit. No, I have never taken cocaine or heroin. Shit, I've never seen it before. But I know about it, okay? Track number three, Mass Seduction, the title of the album. Taking up, hey, hey. Taking up. Guns and transpositions, smoking, Barbaro. Mass Seduction. As long as it's not some weird shit, girl. Do you? Hey. I can't turn off what turns me on. I can't turn off what turns me on. Yeah. She sounds so sexy saying that. <laughs> I think sonically this one is my favorite so far. Um, I did like pills as well, but this one I don't know. There's something very sexy about it. You feel me? And um, <laughs> mass seduction and mass destruction. What an interesting combo. Like 
I don't turn off what turns me on. Girl, what are you into? Shit. Track number four, Sugar Boy. What the f <laughs> Interesting sound back to like sugar boy. I am weak. Like what the fuck? Invented. Girl, let's keep listening. She's very experimental. Crushed down! Yo, this is different. Very, 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 very different, okay? Golly. Seems like she feeds off of uh, somebody. Somebody is her sugar rush. Who is the sugar boy she's talking about? I mean, I don't know her life like that. Shit, I barely know her. But dang. So this is a song about feeding off of, um, getting high off of some sort of energy, you know? Sugar boy. This song went into so many dimensions. I am just like, my brain is still processing this song right now. If I am being completely honest with y'all. Loud. She's very experimental, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. She is. I don't mind it. But my brain is just slower in processing her shit. Track number five. Los Angeles. Kidding. Los Angeles. Angeles. Shit. Mm. Los Angeles. Hang out by the bar. Mm -hmm. Anybody? I like this song too. I like this one. I'm gonna put a little more to it. And the song is pretty straightforward. It is about this infatuation or obsession with looking young, especially in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, you know, people want to stay young and people would do any and everything to accomplish that. Track number six, Happy Birthday, Johnny. Remember one Christmas I gave you Jim Carroll. What? Bitch. I was shook because I thought she was gonna come through with another extravagant production, but no, this is slowed down and it is very much appreciated, girl. Let's give a listen in. And it's a piano man too. You said you saw yourself inside there. Set your hotel on fire. We took up <gasps> wherever you are. Mm. Since we last spoke, you live on the street. Yeah, what? Oh, that does something to me. Oh. My God. Only you know the secrets, the swamp and the fear. Of course I blame me. Oh my God, when yo. I'll be fine, peace. What the? Yo. This song is so beautiful, but I am confused as hell. What the fuck is going on? Damn, yo. The song. Hold up. I put a goddamn mark on it. I got to appreciate her vocals. And then the lyrical content as well. Who is Johnny? Is Johnny a relative? Is Johnny a friend? Johnny? Who's Johnny? And then in the end, she's like, I hope you find peace. 
is Johnny crazy or something? Jo because she said Johnny's on the streets. So that means it's probably homeless. Girl, <laughs> y'all probably know more than I do because this one got me all kinds of confused. Either way, beautifully presented. The piano is so stripped. I like the stripped down version. I do. Damn it. This is my favorite song on the entire album. No, this is my favorite song on the album so far. I don't know if anything's going to top it, but we'll see. I'm open minded. Track number seven. Savior. Woo! A teacher's little denim skirt. Ruler oh, and desk. You press me in. Ow! The bones black and red. Ow! 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 But then you say, please. That's just a different turn! Dress me in leather. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Well, this is mass seduction after all, so he's living up to the album's title. Did she just talk about Jesus? What the heck? Yo. <laughs> this is a top. And at a top, I will put a mark to it. Okay? Whew. That last part, though, that, well, not the last part, when she was like, please, that part, I was like, I was not expecting that, but I don't mind it. So I'm assuming this song is literally about being a dog, okay? Six inch tones may break my bones, but chains and whips excite me. Watch. <laughs> Not but on some railroad though, I feel like the song is a lot deeper than that because she was like, I keep you on your best behavior, but I am not your savior. So get it together, honey. What happens if I walk away? What is you gonna do? Find him another dominatrix, I guess. Track number eight. New York. New York is in New York That's without so you can handle me. New love is this, is this about Johnny? Hold up. Because I asked because um in Dear Johnny, or sorry, in Happy Birthday Johnny, she said something about um everybody just knows the person on the magazine, but Johnny is the only person who knows the secrets. So this could be a continuation of Happy Birthday, Johnny. Let's listen. Oh. Friend, Dear Johnny, Happy Birthday, Johnny. Wow, I really liked that. Johnny, her friend, who's in the streets. Damn, where is Johnny, y'all? Track number eight, Fear for the Future. We're back. Holy shit. Oh, that's Johnny! Damn, y'all hear that? Wow, my God, yo, <laughs> I love heart hidden instrumentals, but this one, God damn it, <sighs> almost gave me a headache. Shit, God dang, it's so <laughs> how do you go from a beautiful piano bell to like something this intense? Damn. At least transition me, you know? 
I did it. Track number 10, Young Lover. Uh oh, is this person like high on heroin? Uh -uh. Is this person dead? I was not expecting this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Girl, this song is exactly what I thought it was about, I think. Okay, this is about a drug overdose. And I'm assuming she found her young lover in a tub, passed out. I'm hoping the, the young lover is not dead. But, um, yeah. Damn, yo. In the words of Whitney Houston, crack is whack. And crack is just a term for all kinds of hardcore drugs, okay? Damn, I mean, I want to say everything in moderation, but no, y'all. Stay away from the goddamn pills and the pharmaceutical fabricated shit. And, you know, the, the, the excessive consumptions of alcohol. Just try to stay away from his cigarettes as well. Oh, oh come on. Uh, I mean, everything can be a drug if you think about it. But this one is the type that will make you pass out in a goddamn tub. <sighs> Track number 11, Dancing with a Ghost. Huh? I was not expecting that. I didn't even see the time. It's only like less than uh, a minute. Uh, less than a minute. All right. Well, moving on. Track number twelve. Slow disco. I sway in place. I'm so glad I came, but I can't leave you dancing with ghosts. I can't. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm realizing? I like this one. I'm not gonna put a mark to it. Oh no. Yo, you know what I realized? I am appreciating and loving her stripped down songs a lot more than I am her heavily produced songs. So they are wrong. The instrumentals on those banging ass songs are dope. However, I am really, really getting lost in the stripped down songs because it's just her and maybe one or two or three instruments and these are live instrumentation. So that, that makes me actually pay more and pay more attention and I, I really grasp her lyrics you get what i'm saying like this song yo this song is about chuck and adult sex like she said she's gonna leave this person dancing with a ghost because she's out the relationship is over whatever it is platonic uh romantic whatever but then she has had enough and she's like, you know what? Shackles of my feet so I can dance. Bitch, I'm free. Bye. Track number 13, last track on this album, Smoking Section. Smoking Section, open one rogue spark. Let it happen, let it happen. Sometimes mm. I stay let it happen, let it happen. And then I think, what good it's not the end. Oh! The end. It's not. It's not the end. Oof. <laughs> this 
this song is very powerful, at least from my understanding. I feel like she's singing about being so close to the edge. And sometimes it's to the point where she's about to take a leap. But then something a lot bigger than what's going on up in here snatches her back. And that thing is the intangible. That thing is love. You can hear her um, repeating it towards the end of the song. You know, she's like, um, what's better than love? What's better than love? And then she also says, it's not the end. It really isn't the end, you know? So she's, she's, she has battles, you know? She has those internal battles, but then she's pushing through. She keeps pumping, you know? There's a lot more to this life than what's constantly just bugging her, you know? So I really, really like this one, actually. Lyric-wise, this is probably... My favorite. Well, we have finally come to the conclusion of this album and I have got to say, I am glad that I listened to it. Some songs had me shock at and some songs had me confused. But overall, it is a solid project. What were some of my favorite songs you asked? Well, bitch, you know what I'm about to let you know. You ready? We have, well, I have a few marked. But I'm gonna tell you my absolute favorites, okay? And those include Happy Birthday Johnny, New York, Smoking Section. Those are the top three. But the ones I have marked are Mass Seduction, Los Angeles, I'm kidding, just Los Angeles, um, Happy Birthday Johnny, Savior, New York, Slow Disco, Smoking Section. I think Slow Disco is also at the top as well. But yeah, those are my favorites. What about you? What were some of your favorites when you initially heard this album? And what songs grew on you as you listened to the album again? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. If you have any other recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be more than happy to watch and listen and react. In the meantime, I will talk to you later. Bye!